Hi guys, it's Mike here from the KS Bushcraft Down Under. Now I thought I'd run you through my canteen kit. Now this is something I've put together with commonly available stuff that you can buy. Now it's 700 grams, so not exactly the lightest piece of kit in the world, but it won't let you down and uh, it's pretty compact. Yeah. Plus I usually use the Trangia burner, that's another 112 grams. So anyway, it's got a little titanium spore. Now, when I built this, I used a, a little buckle, has a whistle and a fire steel in it. I mean, hopefully it's not the only fire steel I've got with me, but it might be a useful backup and it holds everything together. Anyway, I've got the canteen cup stove here, rock solid, it's a good piece of kit, there's plenty of reviews out there on YouTube about it, yeah, and on its own, it's a good piece of gear, works well with a train gear burner, canteen, basically it's probably an allergen brand one, there again, lighter than the original GI one, yeah, BPA free, which is always nice, and Good piece of kit. Now, with these canteen cups, there are lots of copies out there. Some of them are okay, and some of them are absolute rubbish. I've had some that won't even fit the canteen. This is a, a proper surplus one, and good piece of kit. Now, the lid's quite nice. I got this from the Pathfinder School in America. And uh, it's a lot lighter. I did have a heavy cover, cover, and it was very heavy. You know, uh, now, each some of these canteens is a fair bit of variation, so I don't know if you can see it. I had to give it a slight adjust for a set of vice grip pliers to fit my particular canteen. Yeah, and it's fine. Yeah, so not nothing too difficult. And uh, I like this system. You know, as long as you've got S-bit tablets, metal aid spirits, you're cooking. There's really n no moving parts to break down in the middle of nowhere. And uh, as a base for one man trip, I'm very happy with it. Anyway, I hope you find this interesting.